anti-Asian violence today. There are hundreds of people here in San Diego, and we're going to get the thoughts of some of the people attending our protest. I mean, all of us are here primarily to fight for Asian American rights, for American rights, and for human rights in general as well. Um, we're protesting here to, to remember those that were killed so senselessly in Atlanta. The perpetrators to these attacks need to be held accountable and not just be given excuses like they were having a bad day, but instead they need to be acknowledged that what they did was hateful and wrong. Attacks on Asians are up 1,900% in New York. This is an institutionalized problem that's been going on since we've got here, and we need to change that. The model minority myth tells us that we should be happy with what we have because compared to other races, we're treated apparently better. But that's not true. We're not going to be docile like the myth tells us to be. We're going to stand up for ourselves until we see tangible changes in the community. The government should not clear, characterize clearly racist attacks on Asian Americans as simple crime. They need to call it for what it is, and that's racism. And want to be people in San Diego know that we want to be silent in front of the hate. At home, even though we don't really teach the kids about racism, but I think moving forward, we need to talk more about it. We need to change this. It's important for everyone to stand up for everyone, regardless of their race, because Racism happens to every group. I think also, even though we may experience racism differently, there are a lot of commonalities. And at the core of it, the trauma and, and the pain that, that we all feel is the same. I believe that staying silent only helps the oppressor. Raising awareness, I think sometimes the hardest thing is people um, have underlying biases, they don't even realize it. So I think having that awareness is really important. Because we need to stand up for each other and as this affects us all and our kids. And obviously we see this as not just an individual problem, but as a community problem. I'm here because I believe in loving people. There's no need for hate anywhere. And I'm here to let community be a safe place for everyone.